<laughs> so here's some um, Bina again, a slide from Bina, who is um, pointing out uh, some features that we need to integrate together um, for uh, data intensive applications. Um, and it's actually a mix of data sources and technology here. So we, we know that social networking sites like Facebook are, are an incredibly rich source of uh, data. In fact, uh, um, Facebook announced a new graph search algorithm for uh, adding value to their, to their, um, to their uh, websites. Uh, next topic here is mashups. And mashups are very important. They're sometimes called workflow. And um, they basically uh, are a way of uh, taking different services. Remember, services are transformation, they're the filters that take data from one form to another form. And so you have serv multiple services, you join them together, and you get a new service. And there is a very famous website, programmableweb.com, which has lots and lots of mashups there. And so mashups are very important. And then intrinsic to the big data revolution is the use of mashups or in using um, services together to get uh, new results. The interface to all of this is portals. And um, an interesting, there are some important technologies like wikis. Wikis allow you to collaborate on generating data and um, they're not, and so they're just one source of big data or one source of documenting collaborative work on big data. And we obviously have on, on the internet many media sharing sites, which are like YouTube and things, which have enormous amounts of data associated with them. They're part of the big data revolution. Online gaming is a good example of, um, of the explosion. Biology and uh, space science. Obviously, are fields that have uh, a lot of uh, data associated with them. Actually, the space is an example where probably if it's really space, then it comes from uh, Mars or the Moon, because we, especially from Mars, the uh, uh, communication bandwidth is very small. You will not find uh, petabytes of data coming from Mars. Uh, J Jet Propulsion Lab, which uh, runs those uh, those explorations. They, uh, they put a huge amount of effort into the processing of this data because it's, so, cause it's so, uh, so difficult to get and so hard to transport from Mars that uh, what you see is a case where actually a better algorithm is very important because you cannot add more data. Um, so here's my, uh, my list of possible types of uh, Data deluge applications, which effectively we've gone through these examples. We started off with the traditional business transaction data, like stock market data and credit card data. Um, we have interaction data from social networking sites like LinkedIn and Facebook. We have information retrieval, where there's all sorts of sophisticated things such as language translation. I've noted how language translation is a good example of the big data revolution, namely. Rather than doing sophisticated language technologies, what Google found was that they had from their, from their um, um, collection of data, they had many, many uh, sources of data where they had that data in multiple languages. So they could do a sort of lookup form of translation where they learned from these um, existing translations how to translate new data. So that, talk, again, is a good example of uh, the impact of the data deluge. Because you collect it together in one place, namely the Google archives, uh, and obviously it's done with other people's archives, uh, multiple um, documents in multiple, which each of which existed in multiple languages, a different approach to language translation was possible. We uh, pointed out uh, recommender systems. We'll actually discuss those. Uh, um, later on in the class, as a use case, there was the example of the the the, uh, of the Walmart uh, uh, scientist who actually uh, taught the recommender systems in a in the class, and how the that um, the use of more data was better than the bigger algorithm. So, recommender systems are important. They span from Netflix to Career Builder. 
and other than Monster.com, where where you recommend assistance, cover matching users to movies, to employers to employees, or friends to to to, to people. Um, LinkedIn matches uh, matches your contacts to, to to you and tells you when you have when you should. Uh, or actually, Facebook, of course, does the same. They suggest friends, so friends matching is an example of a recommender system. And of course, e-commerce sites like Amazon make huge use of recommender systems to try to recommend to you what you should buy. Uh, we have marketing information. This is optimizing pricing or optimizing store placement that is changing the operation of supermarkets. We discuss the Internet of Things, so that's another important example, pervasive sensors, intelligent everything. Then we have the large, the large and possibly smaller scientific instruments, varying from satellites, telescopes, accelerators, and gene sequences. And there is an area which is sort of not necessarily distinct, because it uses some of the same um, techniques and systems as the previous commercial and academic examples. The military obviously has important uses of, of sensors and satellites in the data deluge. 